Let the games commence. And we're back. Oh joy. Wait, why did I say it like that? Discard that. Um, um, uh, shut up, let's continue. I, otherwise I'm gonna have to do a lot of PvP. Her long, shapely legs, full hips and her breast, plump but dainty, her slightly blushing face, delicate and reserved, is framed by the bangs of her hair. Her hands, tightly held behind her, only serve to further accentuate her chest. Her tall and pale body is beautiful when bared. This girl in front of me, reserved yet playful, astute yet hospitable, is the girl I've fallen in love with. Don't drag this up in the gutter. I lean forward, delicately taking her shoulder shoulders in my hands. I'm trying my best not to make mistakes here. As I do, she brings her hands to my chest. With a slightly uneven breath, we lean into a deep kiss. I feel one of Lily's hands slowly slide up, yes, to my shoulder. It and her head very gently moving forwards. Assuming her tent, I lean back onto the floor. Ah, I don't know how he's going to say that, but you probably have an idea, so leave me alone. She lowers herself beside me, one hand stroking my hair as the other moves across my chest. The feeling of her breast against it is enough to excite me. Patrick Bauer. This must be a way of taking in what I've already seen of her. Despite the lack of sight, her lack of sight, she engraves every detail of my bare body and chest into her mind. Commit- No, I'm not going to say it! Even though he doesn't say- didn't say that before. I'm not going to say it's new one either. Leave me know it's not new. Leave me alone! Motherfucking commit to memory. I said it! But only in a- the, Oh god, read on. When her middle finger falls into the slight ri- Recess? Probably. Of my chest scar, a lingering effect of my operation so many months ago, she slowly runs her hand down its length. How lovely. This is... The scar from my surgery. They had to do this in order to operate on my heart. I hate hearts. For a moment, she she's lost for words. The idea of such extensive scarring, adding a new worry for her, her expression changes from curiosity to apprehension. Really? You have that? Oh, should we really be doing this kind of thing? You're asking that now? Okay. That is not odd at all. Those words bother me beyond what is rational. Lily's face breaks my heart more than even her words possibly could. Yet I don't even know the answer to her question. Maybe it was rhetorical. I can't let this condition dominate me forever. Motherfucker, dominate. It may not be medically advisable, but I outright refuse to live my life in such a prison. It's okay, Lily. This much will be okay. Her troubled expression holds for a moment longer, but she eventually... acquiesces? Probably. Her hand moving to my lower chest and then my thigh. I can't say the words I'd say for the other words because in this kind of atmosphere, it sounds very filthy. With a look of slight surprise, she slowly moves her hands downwards, her breath catch catching as she brushes the side of my lower hair. Oh. She tentatively moves her hand sideways, delicately, delicately touching the most honest part of my body. Th this... This is... It, yeah. This is not nervous at all. They are not... They, blah, this is not awkward at all. Our nervousness peaks as the act begins. Her hand gently patting up and down as lightly as if it would break if breathed on. How lovely. I'm not sure whether it's just to steady myself or because I want to steady her, but I take my free hand and hold the side of her face in it. The feeling of her hair and soft skin is nice, and it seems to lighten the mood a bit. The mere fact that I am being touched by her is surprisingly erotic. I feel my body relaxing as I submit to the pleasure overwhel overwhelmingly. Motherfucker. Long minutes passed in almost total silence. A heavy breathing, the only sound to be heard in the house. Oh, God, don't let Hana go here. Lily's fingers stop. Affectionately stroking my hair, and she opens her lips once again. 
Is that... Oh my god, my voice is dying. You know how she's trying to say his name. Don't make me do it in that way. I wait a second for the rest of the sentence, but none is forthcoming. She may be trying to take the lead, but she's still incredibly nervous. I can't help smiling as I stroke her hair from her face a couple of times, reassuring her. As nervous as she may be, I'm thankful that Lily, Lily's taken the lead. I'd probably be just as anxious as she is if I were attending to her. Beg pardon? Okay. Okay, you get what's going- what- what I- bleh. She pauses a moment before giving a nod. A small nod. Sitting up and shifting her legs over mine. Once again, my breath is stolen by the magnificent sight of a body over mine. Oh! I can only look on fro- What? I can only look on frozen as she delicately lowers herself, resting her reddened li- Reddened lips over me. She slowly begins to move her hips downwards, her softness enveloping my consciousness. She takes a deep breath to collect herself, her face remaining steady with her hands taken in my body in... What? What? L L L I -E -U. How, how do you say this word? It's spelled L-I-E-U. Of sight is... I, that's probably not even... Oh god, move on, move on. The intimate situation, mudless, her usual efforts to compensate for lack of eye contact. She gradually lowers herself onto me, her knees and hands supporting her as she does. Her entire body tenses as I enter her. What? As I enter? Her expression, obviously one of stifled pain. Despite that, I can't help savoring the soft, warm feeling enveloping my consciousness. The surge of pleasure overcoming all my senses. Baudrick Bauer. The last vestiges, probably, of it all but disappear inside her while her nails slightly scrape into my chest in an effort to stop herself from yelping in pain. Oh my god, that must hurt. For you is how, you know, you're being scrap scrammed. Oh god, move on, move on. A pain moan too much for her to suppress completely escapes from her lips. As I open my mouth to comfort her, I see the barely visible red drops from between her legs. How lovely. Thank God we cannot see that. Lily, if it's too much. Now you're thinking that. Then go, oh God, move on, move on. She clenches her mouth tightly, quickly and forcefully, shaking her head from side to side. In defiance. After a couple of seconds, she relaxes her body slightly, though she's still obviously far from being, being comfortable. I, it's okay. I, I'm okay. Oh god, this is very awkward. She swallows hard, trying to collect herself. Lifting herself slowly and bringing herself back down, she relaxes a little more as the feeling of pleasure begin to overtake those of pain. Her breathing starts to match the same ragged patterns as mine, her body moving almost teasingly slowly. Oh my god. She looks as if she's slowly beginning to enjoy the act. My feeling finally reaching her. You are not a manipulator! Oh god, don't say that word. Don't violate it. I'm not sure if she's keeping herself at this speed for her sake or for mine. Maybe she's... Maybe she is trying to tease your um, pleasures and all that, you know? If you catch my drift. Drift. But either way, with this slow and steady pace, I think I can keep my body in check. It's funny, in a way, that even now I'm depending on her. For us to be joined together like this, our feelings- Oh my god! Our feelings so close, it makes me glad. To be sharing our first moment together like this is an almost overwhelming feeling. Sloppy as hell! I love you, Lily. Oh my lord. Hisao. Hisao. You know how she's trying to say it. I can feel her body tensing, her breathing and movements becoming steadily less carefully controlled. I'm happy to be making her feel so good, but as my thoughts become increasingly focused, I can feel myself rapidly nearing my limit. Oh, wait, hold on. Control of my body is instantaneously resetted. Reset, I don't know, from my mind as I grit my teeth hard. 
A loud moan escaping as I climax and my hips hit hers. Our bodies, our body hunt, her body, my head. Her body hunches over at the same moment, her breasts touching on my chest. We stay locked in all encompassing ecstasy for a brief moment. My mind completely taken by the feeling for a precious few seconds. It's a good job I didn't skip then. It ends all too soon and our bodies collapse in exhaustion with Lily Bailey staying on top of me. I lifelessly manage to wrap my arms around my... Around her limp. Limp? What? What? What the hell's a limp? Sweating... Uh, oh, limp sweating body. Jesus Christ. And for minutes we simply lay there, silently savouring the contact with each other while we recover from the experience. Neither of us had fought ourselves... Yes, fought ourselves prepared for such a thing. Of that much, I'm certain. Entirely drained, far past the point of conversation, I look at her tired face. It looks as if the... No, it's not excursion, thank god. Excursion. Oh my god. E X E R T I O N. I don't know what it says. Both physically and mental. Has almost forced her to the verge of collapse, but it looks like it should be excursion. I love you, Lily. I haven't seen that word before. It must be a typo. She nods weakly, rubbing my hair with her left hand. If we could simply remain together like this for an eternity, it would be a paradise like no other. Oh my god, that was sloppy as hell. Oh, thank god there's a skip. I was thinking about playing hutball to go over this, but... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I said that. I can't confirm she's not naked, but I will... Um... Yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs> 